Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to be scanning an EP3 engine bay. We're going to show everything start to finish from uh, cleaning it down, dotting it all, and then we're going to show the actual 3D scanning start to finish and a couple other bits. Enjoy! be cleaning the cleaning the engine bay with degreaser so we can stick all of pickup points on for the 3D scanner. Let's go! Some light along here. Yeah. Because what I need to do is get the bonnet in its closed position. Mm -hmm. So you need to dot up the top, like around here and here. Yeah. And basically dots down here and around. Okay. So basically I can follow the scanner. It's got like a, a roof all the way around it. And then we want to have some dots on the inside on here. Put some here because we need to get from there to there as well. So just all the way along there. I think that's all that we need. Yeah. Alright. So we've now uh, cleaned the entire engine bay down. Um, the next thing we're going to do is me and our lovely cameraman Kim here are going to start dotting up the engine bay, the uh, pickup points for the scanner. So we're now done with dotting up. Uh, the next step is to get a 3D scanner out and start uh, scanning around the engine bay. But myself and Kim are not trusted with the 3D scanner, so Adam will be here any second. Adam! Okay, so we're about to start the process of scanning this engine bay so we can work on a number of projects. One of them is being a supercharger kit, and we're just checking for clearances. So we can basically assemble this bonnet and engine bay in CAD, and we can uh, take our clearances from it and then align our supercharging cap models just to see how it's going to fit and uh, check there's no uh, clearance issues. Okay, so to scan in this engine bay, we're using a Creaform Handy Scan 700. This uh, metrology grade laser scanner, uh, it can go down and pick up details as low as 0.05 millimeters, which to be honest is probably way overkill for this, but 
it's, uh, it's definitely a good bit of kit to use. Yeah, so we're just doing the last half of the scan now. Uh, so what we've done so far is we've done a scan of the outside of the car with the bonnet down to get our bonnet in relation to the wings and the front half. Uh, we've then done a scan of the bonnet in its up position. So we've scanned in the top and the bottom at the same time. So that gives us our like full bonnet scan. Um, and now we're gonna scan in the engine bay in relation then and also pick up the the wings and everything so that once we've got all three scans we can then align everything together and have this full bonnet scan top and bottom positioned as if it was closed oh beautiful so then we can get all our uh, all our clearances then and we're good to go we got here Adam. So there we go, there's the finished engine bay scan and we've uh, picked up all the relevant information we need. So slam panel, wings, engine location and uh, that should give us an update of there to work with. Oh so beautiful. Let's save that and uh, let it do its thing. Thanks for watching the video guys. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel to get more content. Uh, we have a couple of things coming up soon. Uh, a couple of weeks time we'll have the rewrap of our car of our civic um and we have some more see <laughs> we have some more stuff going on um just oh see you then <laughs> bye so we're done we are finished with film <laughs> so we're now done with <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, uh, come back to us sometime soon, make sure to subscribe. <laughs> and again, right, thanks for watching the video guys, hope you like. <laughs> hey Kim. Yes? Yes?